to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal parts about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code, 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 pin code,
is it at all possible to have intellect in plants? Or are all their actions simply functions to protect or, you know, reproduce? Depends on how you look at it. Maybe they have reasoning, but only in their own way. Plants do not have eyes, nose, and ears. They cannot move without muscles. But despite this, we have much more in common with them than it would seem. So, they may not have eyes, but they feel the warmth and the sunlight. This is especially true of sunflowers. Speaking to plants may not work, but it doesn't stop them from communicating with smells. If one flower gets attacked by pests, it sends a special signal to its neighbor to warn them of the danger, and is then able to prepare, having summoned the necessary protective smell. Plants have other senses too. For example, they feel the position in space. Regardless of how you move the pot, the plant will still grow upwards. And as I have already said, plants also feel touch. And recent studies have shown that they may even have memory. They also say that plants react to sound, but this hasn't been scientifically proven. Although, <laughs> I still like to chat with my vegetables. It makes them grow even bigger. There it is. Let's go and get that thing already. Now wait, if we've learned anything about the local flora, it is not to act hastily. Yeah, yeah, it seems this overgrown weed is waiting for something. You know what I'm thinking? If there are such flowers around here, then what kind of bugs do you think there are here? <laughs> oh. Here comes the answer to that question. It looks like we'll have to save our thief. Otherwise, they'll just eat him together with our device. <laughs> Hey, you get out of here, flower guzzlers! Shoo, shoo, shoo from here! Get going, you ungrown butterflies! This now is our leaf that flower alone. Big boys. Back off, it's not or yours! I'll give you a piece of my mind! Stop this right now! Yeah, you get out of here! This is our glade! Hey, cool how we drove them away. <laughs> it was even too easy somehow. Looks like. It's not us they're afraid of. My lovely mother nature. Why didn't I think of it immediately? Do you mean you've remembered the earthly analogy again? Exactly. In the world of flora, there is one amazing flower manipulator, Aqualegia. Unlike other flowers, the Aqualegia doesn't rely on its smells to scare off pests. It acts more cunningly and thoughtfully. The Aqualegia attracts the aroma of small insects, which are harmless to it, and then glues them to itself. These insects, in turn, attract larger spiders. Why is she doing this? For protection, of course. Now these spiders have become her personal security keeping her safe from gluttonous caterpillars, which can do her harm. And with such protection, the Aqualegia stays safe. Huh, then it turns out that this flower noid specifically lured us in to drive the caterpillars away. No, Crash. We are the bait for someone even bigger. That's a weed. Give us our gadget. We really jumped into it. Now, 
Only a miracle will save us. It's you! L listen I don't know if you understand us or are just mimicking, but if you do, I beg you, don't allow your fellow intelligent life forms to be eaten! It's no use, Docco. It's unlikely that he'll understand us. I told you. So you understand me? Forgive me for doubting. I could not imagine that you... Surprise! I'm afraid that this will remain a mystery. Were those plants intelligent? And can we, in principle, determine that we have met another mind? Maybe it will be so different that it won't fit into our own understanding. Do you miss her a lot? What? Me? Oh, believe me, this is merely of scientific interest. From the point of view of our own cosmic solitude. Well, that's a shame. You don't even know you were right for each other. Speaking of which, what is your zodiac sign? Ah. Uh. Uh, Pin, when will you find a way to get us back to our world? We're working on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are working. And I'd stay here a little longer. Depends on the business here. And then you take your tea with yeah. milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I could live like this. D dessert? If you say so. Perchance. I'll dedicate a note to you. <laughs> yes, but horoscopes, they're so unscientific. So why don't you tell me even more about this botany of yours? Eh, with great pleasure. <laughs> 